And then it's going through. No teams got – like, all these teams are announcing. I'm like, dude, there's no spots. And I'm like, the only teams left is, is Paris. Yeah. And I'm like – I remember. I can't remember how it happened or what exactly happened, but I got on a call with Lando. Listen, I had the same call because he was a consultant at the time. Yeah, apparently. Okay. I didn't know this. And he's just. <laughs> he's like. He's like. Hey, I think he deems me. And he's like, "Hey, Matt, I want to talk to you about some stuff." And I'm like, "Okay." Like, not in the in the moment, I'm like, "What was what, what he going to talk to me yeah. about?" Because like, I didn't. I, this is all brand new to me. It's all different. Like, it's not what, because before it was like, you're just, there's just like these certain, there's all these orgs you kind of talk to and there's these owners, yeah. like you don't talk to like a caster or something. So I'm like, I'm like, what? Like, you know what I mean? So it, it was. I, I had the same thing because um, I retired on Black Ops 4 and Elevated Champs was the first team that I coached and all mm. of them were getting picked up in the league and whatever. And coaches, there aren't as many coaches back then as they are now. Yeah, no. And uh, I had a message from uh, from Lando as well, and he followed me, and we we had a call, and I was like, "Yo, Lando, what's good? How's everything? Whatever." And he goes, "Yeah, I'm creating a roster for Paris." Yeah. And I'm thinking, "You what, mate?" Dude. Uh, and I'm thinking, uh, "You're not casting anymore. And you're bro. consultant." And this is <laughs> this is what I did. So I'm not saying obviously my position compared to your position is severely different you deserve to be in the league you're, you know you got fourth place but at the time when i heard about the cdl thing i was just going back into uni mm -hmm. and uh when when the league started coming through you can see the ownership groups mm -hmm. right and you can see who's behind them whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. right and i was making a linkedin page so i made, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I made, you made a linkedin, I made so a LinkedIn page to, i mean hey that's and how i was that's how i was talk. going through and i was going through the ownership groups and i was just Messaging every single one. Yeah, I mean that's and, smart. That's, that's how I did that. And I, I wouldn't have thought about it. Nah, that's how I got in contact with um, not not Drew, but the GM, the other one. Uh, or what's his name? The not Mario, the other one before that. No, Mario's like their. I remember Mario. He's like their accountant. I can't remember who. Is it Justin? I want to say it's Justin. Justin. I want to say it's Justin. it's Justin. I don't. I bro, he I, you was could say one. his name, and I I don't remember. But he was like the GM of yeah, uh, yeah. Contact Gaming at the time, who owned Paris. Who was the Oh. I think it was Justin. There was an it was an Asian guy too. Him, him. He's he's who I'm talking about. His name. I think it was Justin. I don't know. I I don't know if it's out there because he was like low key. Yeah. Like you you wouldn't have known he worked for Paris unless like you knew he worked for Paris. I don't know. And weird. yeah, so I messaged him at the time, yeah. and then uh, and then yeah, <laughs> I, had a, I had a call and dude that that was the weirdest because I remember <laughs> I talked to Lando. I guess to give you context about that org because like. Oh, dude, like I'm not gonna put them on too much blast, cause like they did take care of us. But dude, I guess the small story. I talked to Lando. I talked to to let's just call him Justin for now. Yeah. And I and maybe another guy. And like I got to the point where like it was pretty certain that I was gonna get a contract. I get a contract and I'm like stoked. I'm like yes, I'm signing this instantly. I don't even care how much it's for, bro. Yeah. It, could, it could be thirty bucks a, a month. I'm signing it. I just want to be in the league. And I sign it, right? And I talk to, let's just say Justin again. I don't remember who it was. The I GM. just talked to somebody that yeah. was in Paris. And they were like, hey, because I told, like, obviously when you sign on a contract, it's like all virtual. So they know whenever they have you locked in. And they're like, they, they called me and they're like, hey, Matt, we're super excited for you. You know, we're happy that, you know, you're on Paris, this and that. And they're like, we're excited for the year. And we just want to let you know that we have other players signed. And we're working on a, a coach or another coach, and we're just stoked. And I'm like, oh, you have other people sign. That's great. Because I, I talked to Lando about a couple names, but it was yeah. like, I think it was me, Phantoms, and then he wanted to talk about Brezzy, which is Paul. Yeah. And that was the only people I've known about that he just, like, mentioned and just asked about my opinions on him. Which at the time, like, I knew Paul was a one, and no disrespect to Timmy, but I was super, con I was like, Timmy, like, I haven't played with Timmy in so long. Yeah. Like, why, why is Timmy's name in there? Like, it's just, I didn't understand, but, like, Obviously, we ended up signing Timmy. Um, but they said they had players signed. Signed. But they didn't mention it, not a single time oh, to Oh, no, you. they didn't mention it. And then I said, oh, great. Who, are we play who am I signed with? They, they said, <laughs> here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. He says, oh, I can't wait for you to find out. I said, wait, what? I was what? like, I was like, who who have we signed? And he's like, well, we just signed them yesterday. Like, and I'm, I, and then he's like, but you'll find out soon who they are. I'm like, brother, what? They didn't tell me who my teammates were. I, I found out through like some like intel that like 
Zach, which is Zed, was yeah. signed. And Zed DMs me. He's like, did you sign with Paris? Because they're not giving me an answer. And then we found out Dens. <laughs> and then that's when we were like talking. We were like, we're pretty sure it's Luca and, and Shox or Conrad. And like, I just remember it was so, I was like, bro, why didn't you not just tell me who I'm playing with? Have you seen Love Island? Yeah. Do you know about Love Island? Yeah, I know. You know me, the start, me and Brooke watch right, it. You know at the start where they come in one by one? Yeah. Can you imagine? I can bro, imagine that's, that's how literally, you bro. <laughs> I swear, bro. Oh, dude. You come so in first I, and you see I, who's I, going through I the door. Who, I, don't really, I don't even know who my teammates are at the time. And it's just like, bro. And then they make me go to France. Mm-hmm. The game. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Sorry? Oh, yeah. You don't. Yeah. No, I, I know, but. Oh, yeah. Like, 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 so, the beginning of the year, MW is coming out. And obviously, you know, in Call of Duty, the whole purpose of when the game comes out is to play, 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 the play, grind. play. Yes. Like, because everybody wants to learn. Mm-hmm. So, they thought it was a bright idea, which, like, granted, in the in the grand scheme of things, it was a cool idea to, like, go to Paris. Like, we're going to have our announcement in Paris. Like, it's going to be cool. It's like the... What's that thing called? It's like a, some games week. ESWC. Maybe. Or Paris Games Week. Paris, the two. It was big. It's a big thing. Yeah. And it was cool. We did a thing in there to, like, announce Paris, announce our, like, team. It was a whole bunch of fans. Like, I don't know if they were actually fans. Of, they probably weren't actual fans of like Paris Legion, but they were just yeah. gamers of France and they just su- support a Paris brand or a French brand. And I think like Gotaga was there and like all that stuff anyway. Yeah. So we go there to do this and we're like, okay, cool. And from my understanding, we were supposed to go there and keep, and I guess to add into the story, I was going there and my brother's wedding is also at the same time. So I end up having to fly from, from Paris back to home, yeah, go to the wedding and then fly from home back to Paris. So then, how long were you in Paris for? Uh, <laughs> I was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were told like very short, like maybe like a week or so, and then the game was going to come out. We were going to be back because our our facility was supposed to be in in, in California and like Glendale, right? Um, but like it was. I don't know if it wasn't ready. I don't. I don't remember the the like. It's it's so long ago, and I remember I was always just so mad that like. That year, half the things just went in one ear out the other. I was I was just pissed all the time, yeah, because of like answers I would get and this and that. And we went from having to stay there for a little bit to they're like, um, no, we're gonna stay here for a longer time. We're gonna have you guys a facility, in Babigny, France. Now, Sorry, say, Babigny. But can I can I get a Google? On I this? I could be wrong, but I was told from our guide that this was one of the worst places in France to be in. I was like, bro, ah, bro, dude, I'm telling you, we went to go get our laundry. We, I, I, I'm telling you, you can ask Zach, you can ask all of them. We went to go get our laundry done, like one of those like laundry mats. And they said, if they talk to you, just, just leave. Don't, don't interact with them. Cause like they, you know, you might get hurt. So you're there for a month. Yeah. The game comes out. We're not allowed to, play. we're not, we're not play. home. We're not playing any CDL teams. We're playing, I remember, who did uh, we, you played, we played I remember Chain. You played Singularity. Singularity. And you played Train Hard. You yeah. played, yeah, Granted, I remember. They made us good at the beginning, so I props to it. But it's just like, in the moment, bro, dude, I was away from my family. I, I'm in a place that does And the cool thing about Paris is most everybody speaks both English and French. Yeah. Bigny, not a bit of <laughs> English. It was all French. So, so then how did you get your day-to-days done? How did you get your bro, it was horrible. groceries done? I mean, luckily I had Paul. Brezzi, oh, okay, okay. he was able to speak French, but like everything else, bro. Like I remember I went down to the, the, cause we stayed in a hotel that was like right across from like this like facility. Yeah. And I remember I went to go ask for towels and I'm talking to this guy downstairs. He's like nodding. Like he's like understanding <laughs> he's ready. And then like I get done with my whole spiel and he's like, mm, no. he says like no English. And I'm just like, ah, oh, okay. And he's just oh smiling God. at me like I'm a fucking idiot, dude. And it's just like, okay. No, so, like, I didn't have towels crying. one night, so I was fucking stupid, he's, bro. He just sat there just nodding. Dude, yeah. and then I tried yeah. to watch TV. Everything is in French. I, there was no, like, English channels and everything. Like, I think soccer is cool, but every channel was oh, soccer yes. Yes. of, like, I'm talking, like, the m- lowest of low leagues. I've never heard of these teams. And it's just, like, bro, they're playing in the backyard in a mud field, and their their goals don't have nets. Like or something, I'm just like, dude, what am I watching? Like, it's it's the only thing that's on at 3 a.m. and I can't sleep. And dude, no, anyway, it was kidding. horrible. I I hated every bit of it. It was not fun. The only thing I remember that I had fun about is we used to have these little oranges, and we were like, so our facility was a gigantic square room, like just fully open. Yeah. 
and we would take the orange and we would throw it like from like corner to corner. Yeah. And whoever dropped it would buy everybody McFlurries. That's the only good memory I have of that. That almost everybody on that team can probably also agree was the only good memory from Babigny, France. Other than that, I, I don't <laughs> recommend. It was not. It was not my. <laughs>